So this is what ignites the engine, so watch carefully. It's called a high explosive, like C4. A high explosive needs a lower explosive to ignite the high explosive. So this has electricity going through here, just like a light bulb, how it turns on an old fashioned light bulb. Uh, same idea, except it, we actually want it to ignite. It's so basically it's a bomb. Um, it is it's, a controlled explosion. The difference between a bomb and a rocket is a bomb goes in all directions, whereas a rocket is that explosive force channeled in a direction. Exactly. That's what makes a bomb into a rocket. Yeah. All right, so Griffin, uh, up each stuck. Thank you. I'm behind the fence. Okay. Thank you. You said what? One Newton is about a quarter pound. So you can go to McDonald's and say I want a Newton with cheese. And they'll be like, what? <laughs> okay, so right here, it was 13 Newtons. Right there, you see on here? 13 pounds. Right, so 3.6 seconds after we press the button, it went up to 13. Oh wow, last time okay. it was 12. So, right, it was 12, yeah. So 13 Newtons, so how many pounds is that, do you think? Uh, if one is about a quarter. If one newton is about a quarter pound, how many pounds um, is 13 newtons? Three. three and a quarter? Yes, three and a quarter pounds. So it doesn't seem like a whole lot of, of weight, right? Three and a quarter pounds of force, that's not a whole lot. But for a little rocket, that's But for a little rocket like this, that's, that's enough. And besides, it's not just doing it once, it's doing it for an amount of time. So really, if we had something that weighed 13 newtons, or something that was three and a quarter pounds, then it would just hover. If it was perfectly balanced, like the exact same weight as the force from the rocket, it would just go like this, it would go shh, and it wouldn't move at all. It would be like a, like a balloon, just floating there. Well, but, why didn't it launch? Oh, okay. it was on a tether. So we actually didn't want it to go anywhere. We wanted to, all the force to go to the string and the string to the force sensor so that we would get, we could get the reading from Yesterday, we just tied one string on yeah. and it came back down near Mr. Underdog. Yeah, it went like this, went up, it's and really then funny. down. Yeah. Uh, so, it's pretty impressive. Thanks, pretty cool. 